I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times newsroom. Security concerns are mounting in the hard-hit Philippine city of Tacloban, where thousands remain stranded without food, water, or shelter. The United Nations describes the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan as a logistical nightmare, with aid convoys coming under attack from suspected communist rebels as well as hungry storm survivors. The Times reports that the UN has launched an appeal for $301 million in donations to help victims. The UN estimates that more than 11 million people were affected by Haiyan, the strongest tropical cyclone to make landfall in recorded history. At least 660,000 Filipinos have been displaced while the official death toll was nearly 1,800, a figure that's expected to rise substantially with 2,500 injured. Earlier this week, Philippine President Benigno Aquino downplayed initial estimates of 10,000 deaths, saying it's more likely to be 2,000 to 2,500. Meanwhile, rain and the rotting remains of the dead on roadways continue to make efforts for global aid and transport through Tacloban's airport, the only major airfield on the devastated island of late, even more difficult. For more, visit LATimes.com and at LATimes on Twitter for the latest updates.